Hi guys, welcome to Life on the Sunny Side. Um, so, welcome back. Uh, it's been a very long time since we've done this introduction. Um, for anybody that's kind of new onto this channel, uh, my name is Charlie. I'm Georgia. And we are both 24 and we're twins. Um, we're 24 and we are from London, now living in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, this video is kind of like, I guess, a mini update. Yeah. Kind of like, just the little video so you guys can kind of catch up with us because obviously as you guys know yeah a lot has happened since mm -hmm. december yeah. till now so yeah um obviously george is back i'm gonna say um and now a lot but yeah george is back <laughs> um she came back on friday as you guys probably saw in the previous vlog which actually has got a lot of views so very yeah, thank you that. yeah <laughs> um yeah so go ahead girl so you guys basically know I went back to London December 4th um, and I only planned to stay there for literally like a month. Um, so I booked my first flight which was Jan 4th and that got cancelled because they did a travel ban. So I basically had a lot of flights cancelled within that time. So like six flights within from Jan to May. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then even with this last flight I was kind of getting a bit scared because I was like something's gonna happen <laughs> like something's gonna happen like the last week like packing and everything i was very much anxious for everything just wanted everything to go smoothly and it did it actually did um she's here i'm here <laughs> i'm here <laughs> so yeah um so yeah so i guess we're just gonna start off with um like what we kind of learned through that kind of separation because obviously me and Georgia haven't really been separated for that long I think the longest we've been separated was about a month and that was also while she was in Jamaica and I was in London at yeah. the time um, and that, that was it was well it was our grandma's passing so it was kind of hard but I was also at college at the yeah. time so I kind of was yeah yeah, yeah I was kind of distracted mm -hmm. and we also spent our 18th birthday apart so yeah. that was quite sad but yeah, we are now 24. We pretty much spent our the first kind of six months of our 24, 24th year of oh. life apart. Yeah. Um, so it is kind of it was a big thing for us, I guess. Yeah, it was definitely a big learning experience. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're so even though we are still very separate, we still are very close, and that's yeah. what a lot of people notice about us is that you know even though we kind of still have separate lives, we are still quite close as mm -hmm. sisters. Um, so yeah, what did you learn? I learned that it's okay to be separated from you. Um, and I say <laughs> this because, like, growing up, we always was told that like, be your sister's keeper um, and always like watch out for them. And it's kind of like, yeah, that's cool, but it gets to a point in life where you mm -hmm. actually do have to grow apart. Um, and I think, in a way, everything kind of happened perfectly because we are twenty four, like. Yeah, we are big people. <laughs> We're big people, you know. Um, so I think like this was a perfect time for every to, for everything to happen, and the fact that you still have like someone here, like you still have you're surrounded by family still. Mm -hmm. if you get one, you don't have a lot of family, but you still had people. So it wasn't like you were completely by yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so that was good, um, but it was hard. I'm not gonna lie. It was hard because yeah. we ended up being on the phone pretty much 24-7. Yeah. I think at first it was quite hard. Yeah. And I think especially when her flights kept getting cancelled. Yeah. And it was like, was realising that, okay, maybe this she's is, not going to be yeah. coming as soon as we would like. Mm -hmm. um, so it was hard, especially when, yeah, she was nearly like three days and then yeah. her, flight, her flight would get cancelled. Cool. And it was like, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> and it's like, we'd be getting ready. And then for me as well, I think... I don't know, I guess it was just like, I w even though you said like I wasn't really alone, because mm, obviously yeah. I have my aunt and like I have some friends and stuff, but it's still, it's still um, like, yeah, it's still alone and obviously it was in Mandeville and then like now we're in Kingston and I'm kind of just like, I was making, still, yeah. I was kind of just making the most of a bad situation at first, that's what it kind of felt like, mm. but then I guess as time went on and I kind of just, adapted to the situation and obviously being in Kingston is a lot different to being in Mandeville yeah. and and then also kind of being alone in Kingston ish not alone but you know I am a keeper so that kind of helped me not kind of feel like oh kind of just like what we're doing but there was moments when we felt stuck yeah very stagnant just because it was like hmm oh, the plan that we had 
was we couldn't really fulfill that plan because we wasn't in the right place neither neither one of us was in even though i was in jamaica like i still wasn't in the right place so it was like hmm, what, what are we kind of doing but i think also it taught me that rest is also important because yeah. i am a big person of like i'm always doing something yeah. and like before like obviously the corona happened i was working two jobs and i think i only realized how hard i was working like during this time of like not doing anything yeah. and i realized like wow i was really working like every day like it got to a point where i was working every day like from, i was up in the morning yeah i didn't see anyone like, I, was up, I was the first one up and i was like the last one home mm. and it really i was like wow like i was really you was missing a lot of, yeah. a lot of i was missing time. a lot yeah i was missing a lot of family time mm-hmm. and even just like my own time just for myself like reflection time and whatever so i realized that through that like it was good that i can just take an actual break even though it forced me to and i didn't really feel comfortable at first Mm -hmm. you know i just got to take a step back and actually just see what life has you know where i am kind of just just evaluate yeah yeah. and be grateful that like i'm still in the place that i want to be in even though i'm not really doing what i want but i'm getting rest and like mental clarity as well it made me realize a lot of things that i can work on for myself mentally and physically and just everything so that was my key thing but also mm-hmm. independence as well because yeah. like we were saying you know we've kind of been like this even though we still had our separate lives mm-hmm. if i needed georgia it's so easy for me to be like oh georgia can you help me with yeah. this or georgia always, can you come yeah. in i always have mm-hmm. her i know she's most likely gonna say yes yeah so not having her was like okay if i need to go somewhere i need to do it if do i myself. need to do this i need to do it i don't can't really depend on her anymore so yeah, it was it was an easy easy thing to kind of get over eventually. But yeah, yeah we got there in the end. Yeah, I think it just taught me honestly that you know everything has a time and mm. like stop rushing the process. Yeah, yeah, literally don't rush the process because again, like I was getting frustrated. Like there's some videos that you guys will see where you can hear the frustration in my voice. Like mm. I was getting so worked up trying to get home. But it's like, I wasn't ready. Really and truly, I still wasn't ready. So my goodbyes felt a lot easier this time around. Um, and I just felt ready. Like, we did a barrel as well, like in that like week or two, um, mm-hmm. try and get everything. So, because I wasn't prepared. I wasn't thinking barrel or mm-hmm. getting certain things. So I'm grateful that I had that time to do that. Um, yeah, it was just a lot easier, a lot smoother. And I was in the right mind and like knowing what i want to do when i came back and stuff like that so yeah don't rush the process guys if you're especially if a lot of i know a lot of you guys are like wanting to come to jamaica and you're like trying to plan especially during this mm-hmm. time where there's a lot of travel restrictions and whatnot whatnot don't rush the process it will happen in this time so yeah yeah um so yeah going forward i guess for both of us we're still here we're still one of yes. jamaica um <laughs> i'm actually soon will be coming up to my first year here in jamaica which will be next month so not me <laughs> i know which is crazy like to think that i've already been here nearly a year mm-hmm. um so i will have a video out on kind of like my learning experience like my personal experience so far mm-hmm. um and everything but i guess for right now both of us well things have changed for me i think i kind of said it a little yeah. bit in the last um, vlog um i do kind of have a job now in kingston so it is gonna be and i obviously had things that i was already doing in mandeville which i left so mm-hmm. now for me it's just working out like where i want to be and what i really want to do because ultimately both of them are things that i want to do um or but how you could yeah how i can make both of them yeah how can make them basically both work because obviously it has to be logical and also financial it has to make sense yes. yeah yeah so that's for me that's what i'm kind of doing but i'm less to be able to have opportunities so yeah that's yeah. me yeah and Right now, work-wise, I'm not actually doing anything. I'm going to take my time and find exactly what I want to do. I'm going to rush and dabble in too many things because that's when it gets messy. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to take my time. Um, but I, I still know what I want to do um, career-wise. I still have my plan. I've also got another like side thing that I'm going to start real, real soon. So, again, I'm working on things. Just I'm keeping hush. <laughs> yeah, so... You yeah, guys are back together. Um, also, oh, yeah. I just say back together. That was, that was also a bit like uh, because okay. So me and my sister like okay. We we get on right, but sometimes like we uh, 
know, it's so hard to explain. Like, we can we're easily, different. yeah, we're very different. I mean, we can easily get on each other's nerves. And also, since we've been separated, mm-hmm. we've, we're like totally different. I, I would say. I feel like because like, we're so different, I feel like we don't know each other now in mm-hmm. a sense where it's like, Maybe things that we used to do before was like, eh, or yeah, like yeah. things that we like is like mm, maybe not anymore. Mm. And obviously we are getting on. We're gonna be twenty five soon. So like a lot of things are changing about us that we're now. Right. It, especially being in the same space in this space, it was like at first it was a bit like oh my the speak gosh, was rough, guys. It was rough, but we got it's through it. Which I think it was me <laughs> because I did remember. You know what I said when I said you know. Remember when I said that when it was fun? Yeah. Yeah, which she didn't really see that at first, but I was like... But I already knew that coming coming back, I already knew that she would be... Charlie is a person who, she's territorial. She will set her, like, this is my space. Yeah. She will claim it. No, yeah. So I kind of, like, knew that I had to be respectful of her space. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I was like, I've got to make this kind of feel like home too kind of thing. So I was kind of like, how do I do that, mm-hmm. navigate that mm-hmm. without, like... Second on the toes, and yeah. it was very hard. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, even though it's only been a week, I'd say like since yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, yesterday it, was a lot better. Yeah. Yeah, a lot better. Yeah. The first couple of days, it was. And the thing is, it was weird because it was like it was. I don't know. It was just so strange. Like it was like my sister's hair. Yay! I was. I thought I was. I, like I thought I needed to be so much more excited, but then like as she came here, it was just like okay, this it's really hard to fake my excitedness. <laughs> I felt that. I felt like I. I felt bad. That I wasn't yeah. really like, like I already knew. Yeah, and it was like it wasn't even really talking. Like no. we would just be like doing our own thing, and mm-hmm. it was just like mm, this is kind of weird. But at the same time, I feel like we we still we really know. Yeah. Like actually, we can talk to each other. Yeah, like, okay, this is whatever. And that's the great thing about being twins. Like you don't have to say anything. Like yeah. you just know. So it's kind of like we took our own spaces and like cool, let's do our own thing. But like yeah, the roof back couple. I think yesterday was like the thing was like yeah. okay, cool. We yeah. we, we got through the little the little rough part, mm-hmm. and then now we become up on the side. But yeah, so mm-hmm. before <laughs> because I don't have a lot of memory. Um, Georgia's actually going to be going to Mandeville, and I will be coming up uh, shortly after her, um, just so that we can kind of sort out things together because mm-hmm. I don't want to just like mm-hmm. push her in a deep end or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. Yeah. yeah, she's going tomorrow morning at five a.m. She's going mm-hmm. on nuts and whatnot, whatnot. Um, so we're going to put this video out and we have a mini vlog coming after this video yeah, now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting us. Keep subscribing, subscribing guys. We're nearly at 1k. We're trying to get to the 1k, you know. Yeah. So We see that a lot of you watch our videos, but you're not really subscribing, yeah. which it's understandable because I know it happens to other people in their channels too. Like the subscribing rate is always off. Yeah. But please do subscribe and tell your friends. Um, tell your friends over here, you know. Yeah, um, so thank you guys yeah. for watching. Make sure to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Yes. Press the notification bell so you know every time we post a video. Stay safe and stay tuned. Peace. Peace.